1995, uh, we realized that there was an educational mission related to the use of radio surgery, specifically our use of the gamma knife technology, which had evolved over the course of years. So we began a teaching course, uh, which was in person, uh, six days, uh, to be uh, given uh, every uh, approximately two months. Uh, it's now been um, more than 27 years and we've done 151 teaching courses here. And we've trained more than 2,500 surgeons, radiation oncologists, medical physicists, neurootologists, nurses, and a variety of other healthcare providers who are interested in learning about uh, the art and the science of stereotactic radius surgery. Dr. Naranyan, we have been doing this for a long time, and yet I thought this would all end um, probably within a few years. Uh, why do you think this continues to go? I agree that uh, in the beginning, it, uh, we thought that it will end, but the courses are continuing because more and more uh, physicians want to learn about this technology and those who are already advanced users they want to upgrade the technology and want to learn about the newer techniques such as gamma knife icon we sort of thought well there's a new device comes in and more people are going to have to learn but it turns out that uh, gamma knife and radio surgery is a field now that has lasted uh, there is a need for continuing medical education furthermore the data we have now after not only our own experience in 17,000 patients, but the worldwide publication record, which is now more than 10,000 uh, published articles, has shown the enormous uh, amount of knowledge that's been accumulated. How did we change this course in the development of the pandemic? Yes, um, so in year 2020, because of pandemic, uh, most uh, participants were not able to come so this course was uh, gradually converted into online virtual course. Uh, this is a now five, four day virtual course and it has uh, four interactive uh, sessions where participants via Zoom uh, interact with the faculty. But this course is actually customizable. Uh, depending upon what is needed by a particular participant, they can review those particular uh, presentations uh, at their own time. One of the things that uh, uh, has been a significant improvement in a way, I think, is uh, this material is available to students uh, for an entire week. Uh, so time zones are no longer important. When we're training people from Asia, uh, from Australia, from uh, Europe, the United States, various time zones, they can reach this material any time that's convenient uh, for them. But one of the technical problems we had to solve was the, uh, how do you do online training unless you have a computer sitting there? And Electa um, uh, partners with us to be able to provide this type of training and turning individual laptops into workstations remotely. Uh, and this has been a nice advance uh, for this so that we can actually teach people how to do planning uh, um, um, even though we're not physically present uh, with them. Yes, in fact, uh, during these virtual courses, participants have access to these virtual workstations for four days and they can actually plan anytime uh, they want to. This is a partnership course, it's uh, neurosurgeons. Uh, we have uh, several radiation oncologists, uh, doctors Flickinger and Siddiqui, uh, who work with us, our own medical physics team uh, here who's been involved in uh, these cases from, from the get go. So what we try to do is to give you our perspective um, and our knowledge uh, and convey that you know, within about a week or so in hopes of uh, giving people sort of a baseline of knowledge related to how to safely uh, do uh, radius surgery, what patients we think are appropriate and what are the, uh, the advantages um, and uh, what are the technical tricks that allow this to be done uh, very efficiently. So we hope that we will continue to have additional students uh, to be able to do this. We do offer it six times a year, every two months. And uh, it, it's possible to register uh, for the course. Uh, and uh, at the end, we provide a training certificate to be able to confirm it, uh, that they participated in the course. 
So thank you very much. Any last comments, Dr. Uh, I just wanted to remind that the participants also get the most recent book on radio surgery at the end of the course. Um, and if whether you are starting your program at your institution or whether you're an advanced user and upgrading to new technology, this course is for you. We look forward to seeing you remotely in, uh, in Pittsburgh. Thank you. Thank you.